Our in-depth coverage on the tension between North Korea and the U.S. continues. China is urging President Trump and North Korean leader Kim Jong-un to hit the brakes on their verbal sparring match. This follows North Korea's recent missile tests and threats to aim them at Guam. Now there are signs both sides want to talk more constructively. Washington is saying it is willing to negotiate with Pyongyang, especially after Kim Jong-un decided to hold off on launching missiles toward Guam. We are now joined by Eyewitness News Analyst General Reginald Centracchio. General, with North Korea backing down in the last day, what are your thoughts? Why exactly did they make this move? I think it had much to do with the, the back door being uh, China and the impact that China had on convincing North Korea that launching those missiles was counterproductive to its very existence. So I think it had much to do with China intervening and making some uh, headway into getting them to back off. All right, let's shift gears now to the Pentagon realignment program. All the talk in the last couple of days, Quonset and Newport could be affected. What are your thoughts on that? Every 10 years or so, the Pentagon has to submit a program, what is referred to as BRAC, which is the Base Realignment and Closure. And all bases across the entire world are put into consideration as to whether they're effective and whether they should be retained or not. Certainly Newport and Quonset would be part of that, but it's very unlikely that would happen here in Rhode Island because you know, the Navy College, the, the War College is in Newport, uh, the Education Training Center is in Newport, and of course at Quonset we have the air wing that occupies the uh, the base there. The last time this happened of any significance was back in the 70s mm -hmm. when we lost all the Navy out of Newport and Quonset. So in my opinion, it's very unlikely that uh, Newport or, or Quonset would be closed, uh, but certainly they'd be taken into consideration as part of the, the overall uh, look at and see as to what the Pentagon would submit unlikely, but what would the impact be here in the state of Rhode Island if that were to happen? Well, it would be tremendous uh, because we have quite a few civilians that work at uh, the uh, Newport Navy. Uh, certainly the War College would be significantly uh, affected uh, and the economy of the state certainly would be impacted on. Nothing like when we lost Quonset and Newport at the same time, but uh, I think we're, we're looking at some real uh, possibilities. Uh, Possibility is always a concern, but mm -hmm. probability is very low that that would happen in the state. Thank you so much, General, for your thoughts, as Thank always. Thank you. Thank you.